Hello everyone, Deafening Silence ASMR here with a long overdue action figure ASMR video. I did a, one of my first community posts uh, for the channel. I asked if people would be interested in that and I got some responses, so here we are. And this is not going to be a haul video, as you can tell by the title. This is going to be a collection of videos, a series of videos going over my collection. I have I'm sure over 300 figures by now and uh, before they go in storage or they go back on the display shelf I thought I'd showcase off my favorites. This is not in any particular order. Uh, I'm going to be saving my favorite part of my collection for last which is my Spider-Man uh, collection which is probably my biggest and definitely the one I'm most proud of. So starting off as you see here we have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. Now I'm not a fan of Hasbro right now and the things that they're doing by any means like a lot of fans but when I saw the Red Ranger in stores uh, two years ago yeah early 2020 I knew I had to get the rest of the group because the Power Rangers was they were the some of the first action figures I had as a kid even before I saw the show really even and so I ended up getting the whole group here I don't have the Black Power Ranger in his regular suit outfit uniform whatever you want to call it uh, I just have him in his shield version I guess you would call it and uh, as you'll notice, we have the villains. We have Evil Kimberly Dracon, Lord Dracon, and Lord Dracon Evo 3 uh, from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic book series that's been out for the past three or four years now. I haven't actually seen it. I think I bought the first issue of it, but. I saw Evil Kimberly and I was like, that's awesome. And then I saw Dracon and I was like, that's awesome. And then I saw this, which is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, I think. And I was like, oh man. And then of course, the White Ranger. I uh, had to get the classic villain. But yeah, this had to get the villains too. And as I mentioned, they have good accessories. And he, over here at Evo 3, he actually has like this really cool lightning display thing that wraps around his sword and the display of fallen rangers that he's standing on top of, but I don't have it out right now. It takes up a lot of space. As many figures as I have, you're having to try and make sure you can cram in as much as you can, but it still look, you know, not tacky. But yeah, we have Heroes and Villains. Now we come to what may be my coolest part of my collection, even though it may be only my second or third favorite part, which is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the first Ninja Turtles movie, I believe. The ones that they have from The Secret of the Ooze, I think, are pretty much the same, but we also have Super Shredder in kind of an alternate color pattern from NECA as well, from Secret of the Use. These guys were kind of a steal because anyone who was collecting figures that was, that was keeping up with this knows a lot of figures took a massive jump up in price online from scalpers due to like availability and such and NECA is notorious for not getting stock out. I happen to be at Vintage Stock and they had each one of these available for I think it was 40 bucks each for the turtles at the time and this was so I got them each for I mean combined for 160 that's not to brag I'm not rich okay <laughs> I'm broke um, this was at a time where the figures were going for over a hundred uh, each and at one point I probably could have sold the whole set for six or seven hundred dollars I probably should have I'm probably a fool for not doing that but needless to say um, I'm not in this for the money I'm in this for the enjoyment and the or 
original movies from the 90s was what got me into Ninja Turtles, helped foster my love of pizza, and uh, I just love, I love these guys so much. They're not the most poseable in the world. You can't do like insane, insane like scene, fighting scenes with them or anything like that, but they look so close to like the uh, suits, whatever you want to call them, that, that were designed for the movies. And yeah, I can't get enough of these guys. They're always like my favorite or what I gravitate towards on, on the shelf with all my other figures, even though I got some pretty nice ones that you'll see here in a minute. But for people who want to know, my favorite is Donatello. That comes from uh, the Super Nintendo, actually. One of the uh, fighting Ninja Turtle fighting games for the Super Nintendo there was a move that Donatello did with a rapid kendo spinning attack that did a lot of damage and it was the only way I was able to really get through the game and beat it. So between that, between the fact that he also does the color purple, which is like my favorite color, and I love kendo sticks, I can do some of the moves that Donatello does, but not all of them. But yeah, uh, a couple of reasons on on top of that are like why Donatello's my favorite. If I had to put them in order, it's probably Donnie, Mikey, Raph, and Leonardo. But I don't dislike any of them. I love them all. It's kind of like picking your favorite child. <laughs> and as for Super Shredder, played by Kevin Nash. Also, I'm a huge wrestling fan, so that's that's a really cool bit of you know wrestling lore, trivia, whatever. Uh, this Super Shredder, so freaking awesome. Happen to be in stock in my Walmart and I looked at it and I was like that's that, that's a buy so anyway now that we've talked about the turtles enough uh, let's go on to the next part of the figure collection which is the D DC family of figures that I have quite a spread and this isn't even half of them <laughs> the rest of them are in storage as they didn't make the cut as far as who gets displayed yeah, what's not pictured here is Flash, uh, the Batman Flash, Red Death, Mecha Superman, which doesn't make sense, Hellbat, and a couple other variations of Batman. Um, I'm not sure who started it off for me, but just kind of running through everybody here. From McFarlane, we have Deathstroke. I'm not sure off the top of my head which version of Deathstroke that is. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a comic version but not New 52, but we have uh, Batman Beyond, and this is the version with the mouth closed. Uh, I just prefer that. I think it looks cooler than the like mouth that moves around and talks like normal, but it's still all black. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, also from McFarlane, we have Azrael, sick-looking dude with the sword and everything. Uh, Red Robin from the New 52. And then Ghostmaker here. This is a newer character that has been showing up in the comics. And I just finally was able to get him. And he is freaking insane. If I can ever get into cosplay. Which I, I have some stuff that I'm trying to do for Moon Knight. But if I can ever get into cosplay. I, I definitely want to do Ghostmaker. And then... Uh, from Apex, we have all from Batman Hush. And of course, the black and gray, the blue and gray, and then Superman. And then lastly, from SH Figure Arts, we have Wonder Woman. And again, picking a favorite is kind of like picking my favorite child, but I would have to lean towards. Mm. If I could only keep one, I probably would keep the blue and gray Batman Hush. Um, I, I kind of lean towards the blue and grays being my favorite Batman suit, though I love like the kind of like the all black suit versions that they do in the movies, and I love the blue and gray as well. I mean, th there's many different Batman variations of his suit that I, that I like a lot, but if I could only pick one, it'd probably be the blue and gray, and then. <laughs> This is like the Superman figure, and it's expensive, it's hard to get, 
it's being scalped like crazy online by people. But if you are able to get a Superman figure, get Superman Hush. Because that's... You never need another Superman figure. This is it. And I, I, once I was finally able to get it, I, I was able to get it from Big Bad Toy Store just kind of by luck. Um, if you look through their catalog, it showed, it showed that it was sold out. But if you clicked on the link and brought up Superman Hush, like his page, it showed it was available for pre-order. So I was able to get it, and I was able to let a couple people know on Reddit, and they were able to get one as well. And uh, once I was finally able to get it, I was so happy because I'm not like the biggest Superman fan, but I'd been wanting a Superman figure because I grew up liking Superman as a kid. And Superman Hush is great. Wonder Woman, uh, I had originally gotten the Mafex Wonder Woman from the first movie, I believe, with Gal Gadot, and I was not happy. It, it was a bad figure. She's cool. Um, the accessories that she's using right now is from that may fix one of them because they're pretty much the same scale. Um, Red Robin here is like my favorite version of Robin. It with the wings and everything, it makes the most sense. Um, this DC Essentials Red Hood for some reason has gotten like expensive. I was in a comic shop just a few months ago and they were selling it for like ninety bucks, and I got mine for twenty. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, this Asriel here is my favorite version. I do have the black and gold suit that's from White Knight. It's not a great figure. It doesn't stand or pose well. The legs are too thin and long. Um, I, I like that Asriel. He he just looks the most awesome in that. And then of course, um, Deathstroke and Batman Beyond, I, they, they're just awesome. Uh, I need to watch through Batman Beyond. It, it's, it's been a while. But but yeah, this is the DC group. And uh, next up, we're going to look at what has been a newer uh, comic pop culture um, obsession of mine as far as figures goes. And here we have it. Team Scorched. Or just the Spawn Universe. I got into the Spawn Universe line of comics and such about a couple of years ago and I knew about Spawn for a few years before that but um, really started checking out his comics and everything like that and Spawn is one of the coolest characters <clears throat> to ever be created and I love the story of Al Simmons and I love his powers the necroplasm and how basically it's Todd McFarlane's baby and it's like something that he started when he was a teenager like the idea of spawn and it's almost basically like another attempt at a symbiote <laughs> and it works um, for people who don't don't know this is a gunslinger spawn this is redeemer spawn this of course is the main spawn himself Al Simmons uh, this particular spawn is the sword variant from the Mortal Kombat 11 line I think it is or 10 this right here is a Mandarin spawn ninja spawn obviously and then a um, hot spawn I mean um, she spawn uh, these guys are really cool and I'll probably get the other ones eventually like Raven spawn dark redeemer maybe but I need to read the uh, comics that they're in and get more acquainted with them um, regular spawn right here is as you can probably tell a modded figure he's my first one that I've done of that type as you can tell obviously I took off the uh, plastic cape bought a cloth cape with some wire in it from a seller on eBay and it came with the cape and then uh, the little chains that I have wrapped around them. Unfortunately, the chains don't have really a way of like uh, coming out at you and staying upright. Maybe if you, maybe if you put some sort of strong adhesive on it or something, maybe it could. But uh, in addition to that, it's uh, <laughs> he's using one of the big guns that comes from She Spawn. And then uh, this little chain that you see wrapped around the gun is from from that same. Uh, 
she spawned collection as well. She came with some good accessories. And if I had to rank them as far as my favorites, obviously main spawn here, number one. Um, I should also mention that he was painted. Um, he kind of has like a dirty kind of uh, like he's been fighting sort of look, but uh, me and my wife kind of co did it together where we painted the white parts like f full white and it took forever for it to dry but I think it came out looking a lot the better for it but main spawn Al Simmons spawn number one gunslinger spawn is number two um, I guess we're gonna do three and then f four though it's very close and actually ninja spawn here is also kind of close three four and five are pretty close together and then uh, Mandarin spawns in last um, I like the figure in hindsight he's pretty cool but I don't know anything about him and honestly he is a pain in the butt to stand up make articulate but I like all of them honestly and uh, I'm, I'm really wanting to read more of their comics and I just noticed she's why are you holding the gun like that anyway <laughs> um, so yeah not much more to say I, I I've not seen like the animated series yet I will not see the movie that came out in the 90s that is god-awful that is nightmare fuel it is the worst looking thing I've ever seen I'm hoping they do another like movie or TV series or something like that showcasing the spawn universe because it, it's really cool to be honest but uh, yeah the this is the uh, spawn group that I have and so let's move on to the last part of this video of part one of our figure series and lastly we have here what I would call too much <laughs> this actually took me quite a while to get all assembled here I had to dig up some boxes and get stuff out to showcase this but I had to the X-Men um, all Marvel Legends <sighs> dating back to probably 2016 I want to say and um, good lord I guess let's just start from uh, my right to my left here we got Age of Apocalypse Sunfire Regular Beast uh, Regular Storm um, Havoc not my favorite version of Havoc but Havoc uh, Nightcrawler, Blink, Boom Boom, Tiger Stripe, Wolverine, X-23, X-Force, uh, Jubilee, Brown Suit Wolverine, but it's like the new updated version. I do have the older classic brown suit, but it's not from the like Age of Apocalypse line. It came in a six pack that was kind of like Marvel's retro line but yeah this is like kind of like the new brown suit version Bishop the new newer updated rogue from the 90s which I kind of have a funny story about that um, Wolverine Origins or X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, I think that was an Amazon exclusive Cyclops kind of like older classic suits Cyclops only I, I don't like Cyclops I just got because I, I need the team Gambit kind of classic look Psylocke classic look uh, the original X-Men trilogy Mystique Dark Beast Age of Apocalypse Emma Frost and Iceman now <laughs> uh, what's funny about this particular rogue is just a few months prior I had spent a hundred dollars plus on eBay getting that rogue if anyone remembers this infamous rogue got super expensive on eBay and other places just for the simple fact that I guess it just wasn't available um, it was a Toys R Us exclusive I guess and of course Toys R Us went out of business um, there just wasn't another way to get it and uh, I went ahead and got her she was like the only <laughs> action figure purchase I made that month 
and like I said, um, several months later, a better version with fixed eyes and everything came up later. Um, if I had a favorite figure here to pick, only one to keep, uh, as much as I waited for a Tiger Stripe Wolverine, which by the way, this this one here is the like animated series up like a uh, new one that just released. I like it. I would have. I actually do prefer it to like the head uh, sculpt to the other Tiger Stripe variants. That's why I'm not going to get them. But uh, as much as I like Tiger Stripe Wolverine, if I had to keep one figure, it'd probably be Nightcrawler. Um, Nightcrawler, as far as the X Men team goes, is my favorite X Men. X Man. Uh, I love Nightcrawler and his abilities and such. And actually, uh, my action figure collecting kind of it started with Nightcrawler and it started with Gambit. And uh, some other fun facts: uh, when I was in high school, uh, me and a group of friends each gave ourselves like an X Men code name, and I was Iceman. So loved having that, loved getting that figure. Um, but yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to go with Nightcrawler. He's pretty freaking awesome, and he's got uh, <laughs> he's got one of the swords from uh, Deadpool, from the pirate Deadpool. And then uh, what are some other interesting facts? Uh, Blink here, I like I like her a lot. I, li I like that figure a lot for some reason. It's not nothing special, but I like it, and I like the little effect she has. She is uh, not using her usual like um, energy swords or scythes, whatever you want to call those. I gave her just that could have been disastrous. Um, I gave her just regular swords. Um, but yeah, that's I thought I had more, actually. Um, I was looking through my boxes and I couldn't find anything else, but I feel like I'm missing somebody here. But I don't know who it'd be. But uh, yeah, the, I I didn't know how I was going to get this all in the shot. It's not going to look the best, probably. But this is the X Men team. Believe it or not, my Spider Man collection is bigger. I don't know how I'm going to get all that in one shot. It's probably going to have to be like multiple segments within a video. So yeah, I thought we'd end off with a bang here. The X Men are my favorite. Well, Spider Man's my favorite character, but X Men is my favorite team and. As far as like comic properties, it's Spider-Man Universe and then X-Men and then Spawn, DC, and everything else. I, I love the X-Men, the original. And uh, yeah, not all of these are displayed anymore, but I had to get them all in the shop for this video because it's, I love X-Men, it's very sentimental for me. And the video is getting a little bit long, so that's going to do it for part one of the collection, showing off. Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, X-Men, and uh, Spawn, and in the next video uh, that I do, it won't be immediately after this, but the next video I do, we're going to have Halo, we're going to have some just like random Marvel Legends, we're going to have, uh, I think some Star Wars, I think Star Wars is going to be the main uh, part of the video, so if you like this video, and you definitely want to see more, uh, if you could leave a like and a comment subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, let people know that this nerdy idiot here is doing like relaxing pop culture stuff on YouTube. You should check it out. I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, take care. Take care of yourself, your family, everyone around you, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Definitely Silence saying goodbye.